Carolyn Berg Erickson is a fitness blogger, and apparently she gave birth just a few days ago, and she posted a picture of herself looking pretty banging on Instagram. Let's take a quick look at the picture. She's 26 years old. Jeez. That's four days after giving birth. Ridiculous. I have never given birth, and I look nothing close to that when I'm scantily clad. So I am going to put this out there and say that I am 120% jealous of her, and I wish I had the time and the energy to look as good as she does. Now, with that out of the way, I just want to talk about a little bit of the criticism that she's been getting, uh, because people feel that she is a fat shamer which I think is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> okay, so right there uh, is a completely different woman. Uh, she is known as the Fit Mom, and she got a little bit of criticism because she posted that on her Facebook page, and it says, what's your excuse? And people thought that she was uh, bullying people who were overweight. Her name is Maria Kang. All right, we'll get back to her in a second. Yeah, no, we no, will. Hold on, let's get back to her in a second. Okay, okay, let's talk about the really, really hot woman who just gave birth, okay? Uh, so. A number of women have been writing about her in the press, and I feel like they're actually working against women in general with the criticism that they're throwing her way. So let me give you an example. Uh, Rebecca Sparrow is Australia's uh, Mamma Mia uh, blogger, and she says the following. Uh, this whole situation has become ludicrous. The competition for women to give birth and then immediately remove any trace from their bodies that they ever carried a child is obscene. Obscene. Okay. There is no other word for it. Actually, it's more than obscene. This look how hot I still am obsession and need for public endorsement. Okay. Uh, she also continues, focusing on how we look post-baby detracts from how we feel, and that is what we need to be concerned about with all new mothers. Motherhood is overwhelming on so many levels. We need to shift this goddamn focus back to the mental health of our mothers. Okay. Now, I love that for a couple of reasons. First, I, I, she's like, we have to worry about the goddamn mental health of our mothers. And I was like, dude, I'm beginning to worry about your mental health. I mean, she got animated there with mm -hmm. the capitalizing of obscene, etc. Now, if you're skinny and you put on a picture of yourself, it's not become fat shaming. Yeah. No, 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 no. This is crazy talk. Look, look, we're all jelly jelly of her. Hell yeah. Okay. She uh, and no, it just putting out this picture doesn't mean that society has a new expectation that you're supposed to look like this after uh, four days after giving birth. And if she were to actually say that, then I would be on your side. Right. But she didn't say that. Right? Yeah. And nobody has that expectation. You're imagining it in your head because you're seeing her picture like that. And, and look, uh, yes, the society is obsessed with fitness, yada, yada, yada. But now you're getting carried away by shaming her. Well, look, that's her job. She's a fitness instructor. Yeah. And I don't know how she did that, got in that kind of shape four days after her pregnancy. But obviously, she's doing her job well. You I should give her, her credit. I want her to be my nutritionist if and when I get pregnant. Like, that's mm. awesome. I would love to be in shape like I'd like to be in shape like that now. I think it's incredible. And look, that's her job, right? And even if it wasn't her job, even if she wasn't a fitness blogger, if she went through the hard work to look that good after a pregnancy, then we should be applauding that effort. Like, she's not, look, the, the whole thing with Maria Kang, like, we got a little upset about her because the whole what's your excuse thing seemed a little, like, rude, to be honest, right? Mm -hmm. But in this, that's, in other this fit mom. that's the other fit mom. But in this particular case, this mom is just saying, like, look, I put in the work, and you can do it too. And I like that. I like that. Anyway, she did respond to some of the criticism. She said the following During the pregnancy, people kept telling me that my body will never be the same, and I wanted to show everybody that's not entirely true. I think all women should be proud of themselves, regardless of how they look after labor. Obscene! How dare she? <laughs> okay, everybody bring it down. And, um,. Look, it's like saying, hey, you know what? Uh, Jenk is shaming everyone else by being such a good talker. But hey, that's what I do. What can I do? You don't have to try to compete with that. I'm not talk shaming you. <laughs> so that's her job. She's apparently good at it. Everybody else bring it down.